Good evening, sir. I'm Shruti Vaughns, roll number 53, and I will be presenting the PPT for my team, that is Team 6. And the topic of our presentation is Derived Delta Function. These are the names of our group members, that is from roll number 46 to roll number 48. So let's begin with the topic. Definition. In mathematics, the Derived Delta Function is a generalized function or distribution introduced by physicist Paul Dirac. It is a generalized function that can be defined as the limit of a class of delta sequences. It is also called as delta function or the impulse symbol. In mathematical terms, it can be stated as delta of x is equal to infinity at x equal to 0 and it is equal to 0 at x not equal to 0. This is a graphical representation of Dirac delta function. So what is Dirac delta function? It can be thought of as a function on the real line, which is zero everywhere except at the origin, where it is infinite. It is a very strange function. It is zero everywhere except one point, and yet the integral of any interval containing that one point has value of one. There are three main properties of the Dirac delta function. They are, first, delta of t minus a is equal to 0 at t not equal to a. Second, integration from a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon delta of t minus a dt is equal to 1 at epsilon greater than equal to 0. And third, integration from a minus epsilon to a plus epsilon f of t into delta of t minus a dt is equal to f of a at epsilon greater than equal to 0. At t equal to a, the Dirac delta function is sometimes thought of as having an infinite value. So the Dirac delta function is a function that is 0 everywhere except one point. And that one point, it can be thought of as either undefined or as having an infinite value. The integrals in the second and third property are actually true for any interval containing t equal to a, provided it's not one of the endpoints. The limits given here are needed to prove the properties. We will, however, use the fact that they are true, provided we are integrating over an in interval containing t equal to a. Applications. The Dirac delta function is not a real function. It is instead an example of something called a generalized function or distribution. Despite the strangeness of this function, it does a very nice job of modeling sudden shocks or large forces to a system. It has a wide range of applications in probability theory and statistics, quantum mechanics, and structural mechanics. It is used to represent discrete distribution using a probability density function to find a particle within a given space using probability amplitude and to describe transient loads or point loads acting on structure using the derivative of delta function. This is an example of Dirac delta function. y double dash plus 2y dash minus 15y is equal to 6 delta of t minus 9, given that y of 0 is equal to minus 5 and y dash of 0 is equal to 7. Solution. We will first take the Laplace transform of everything in the differential equation and apply the initial conditions. S square into y of s minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus 2 into s into y of s minus y of 0 minus 15 y of s is equal to 6 into e raised to minus 9s. Solving this equation, we get s square plus 2s minus 15 into y of s plus 5s plus 3 equal to 6 into e raised to minus 9s. Now solving for y of s, we get y of s is equal to 6 into e raised to minus 9s upon s plus 5 into s minus 3 minus 5s plus 3 upon s plus 5 into s minus 3 which equal to 6 e raised to minus 9s into f of s minus g of s, where f of s and g of s are assumed to solve partial fractions. 
So the partial fractions and their inverse transform are f of s is equal to 1 upon s plus y into s minus 3 is equal to 1 upon 8 my upon s minus 3 minus 1 upon 8 upon s plus 5 and f of t is equal to 1 upon 8 into e raised to 3t minus 1 upon 8 into e raised to minus 5t. Further, g of s is equal to 5s plus 3 upon s plus 5 into s minus 3 is equal to 9 upon 4 upon s minus 3 minus 11 upon 4 upon s plus 5 and g of t is equal to 9 upon 4 into e raised to 3t minus 11 upon 4 into e raised to minus 5t. Therefore, the solution is y of s is equal to 6 into e raised to minus 9s into f of s minus g of s and y of t is equal to 6 u9 of t into f of t minus 9 minus g of t. We have also included a relation between heaviside function and Dirac delta function. From the following integ integral, we can see that integration minus infinity to t delta of u minus a du is equal to 0 if t is less than a and it is equal to 1 if t is greater than a. This is precisely the definition of heaviside function. So we can write integration minus infinity to t delta of u minus a du is equal to u a of t. Further, recalling the fundamental theorem of calculus, we get u dash of a of t is equal to d, of d by dt integration minus infinity to t delta u minus a du is equal to delta of t minus a. Hence, prove that the derivative of heaviside function is direct delta function only. Thank you.